Welcome back guys to the channel, the only channel on YouTube that actually makes MetaZoo videos. So today guys, we're talking about something very important, something very near and near to my heart. That's right guys, we're talking about Rudy, the Taco Man Alpha Investments and whether or not he scammed us during his last MetaZoo sale. We're going to be going over the numbers and um... Yeah, if y'all don't know who Rudy is, basically he's the biggest, I, I guess, card YouTuber. Uh, he collects tons of, tons of magic, Pokemans, Flesh and Blood, MetaZoo, Weeb Schwartz, Yu-Gi-Oh! Does he collect Yu-Gi-Oh! Someone tell me in the comments, I don't actually know. Um, and then, yeah, so he just recently had a sale where he sold his patrons some second edition Cryptid Nation MetaZoo stuff he was just a whole smorgasbord of random stuff and then also with it was a specific special rudy promo and a special rudy playmat so we're going to be going over the numbers today and i'm going to tell y'all whether or not it was a good buy or if you got scanned but also guys for those of you who are like mark why would i even buy from rudy mark Mark, Rudy's a scam. Mark, he, I just go to my local Taco Bell and they get me my magic cards. So why would I even bother, right? So Rudy, if y'all don't know, uh, basically he has a Patreon account where he sells to a ton of people. Um, at this point, the Patreon is closed, but a lot of people still like talking about the sales that he does because he is very polarizing, I guess, to a lot of people. Uh, I think he's fine. I don't really, you know, I don't really care. Uh, I am a patron of his, of, I am a patron of his, but I did not participate in the sale because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm kind of broke. I spent a little bit too much money on, uh, release event boxes. So, you know, uh, there's that. So Rudy overall doesn't have the best prices on the market. If you're buying from him, you're buying because you want a reliable source of card products. He also, I want to, I want to say this right now as well. Uh, he's very reliable. He, he doesn't do pre-orders before he gets the products. So like, for example, he was going to do an Everfest, uh, flesh and blood sale. Thing, but he didn't get the products in on time on Friday and uh, he just decided to postpone it. So he's probably going to hold it back a week or two. And he keeps his word, guys. This He's done a lot more than I've seen any other eBay reseller, scalper, evil person. He, he does a lot more than they do. Um, I don't know if you guys remember back about two years ago, he sold Ikoria collector boxes. I think it was two years. He sold Ikoria collector boxes uh, for Magic, and he oversold by a ton. And you know what he did? He went out into the open market and just bought a ton of collector boxes so that he could fulfill the orders. Did he manipulate the market there? I think he did, right? Um, but, you know, that's just to say that he goes above and beyond. If he makes a mistake, he, he makes up for it, which is uh, pretty cool. Now with Rudy, you also do get the option to buy in bulk. If you guys are trying to buy your cards on eBay, you will have noticed that a lot of eBay sellers don't have like hundreds of boxes available at a time. Like for example, guys, right? If you go to an eBay card store, uh, you might be able to buy five or six boxes of battle styles. If you wanted to buy cases and cases of it, uh, you probably cannot do that unless you have a distributor. A lot of eBay sellers limit you, limit everybody on the website to buy five to six boxes from them at a time. When, uh, when the listing ends, they'll go and repost it later. But they do that so that no one buys them out in case, uh, there's a big scammer or in case the price just jumps like crazy. So that's pretty cool. Also, Rudy does a bunch of weekly sales, which is nice if you want to diversify out your holdings a little bit. Just recently, he did another Weiss Schwartz sale, and that was pretty cool if you're into that. Uh, tonight, actually, he posted a sale for Rent-A-Girlfriend, the we for the Rent-A-Girlfriend Weiss Schwartz box, which is pretty cool. 
It's a nice anime. I think it's pretty good. Um, there's going to be a second season pretty soon, which is nice. If y'all are into the anime, I think this is a nice box to get. So now, guys, we are going to go over the numbers. I'm going to show you guys a nice picture of my spreadsheet. Very complex, very complicated. Spent hours and hours on this. So for the second edition Cryptid Nation sale, he had a total of two Cryptid Nation second edition booster boxes, two spellbooks, two random theme decks, two promo blister packs, one Rudy promo. This is the Rudy Not a Timmy promo card thing. And also the Rudy Rubber Playmat. Now I do want to emphasize that this is not a foam playmat like the previous ones. Uh, here's like the last playmat that he had. It's the Rudy Nightfall playmat thing. Uh, this this one that he just sold is actually rubber, so it's just a much nicer material. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than the other playmat because it is, in fact, made of rubber, which is pretty cool. If you're interested in playing it, uh, playing with it, or if you're interested in, uh, I guess, using it as a desk mat, uh, it's a lot better. Okay, so with the numbers, guys, I will be taking eBay lowest buy it now. I'll be mixing that in with uh, some sold listings, and I'll be coming up with a reasonable price for a lot of these items. I do not include taxes though on all of this i do not include taxes i include ebay buy it now plus shipping so the cheapest ebay buy it now plus shipping plus some sold listings that came up with the price so hopefully you guys like the price if you think i'm wrong uh tell me in the comments so in the bundle he had two cryptid nation second ed booster boxes lowest on ebay 90 dollars. so he had two boxes that's 180 two spell books $40 a piece, that's $80. Two random theme decks, they're all $20. So two theme decks, it's $40. Two promo blisters. Um, I found that if you bought in bulk from certain buyers, you could actually get them for $5 a piece. So we're gonna round down here. We're gonna say $10 for the two blisters. The Rudy promo card. I've been seeing the sold listings between $150 and $250. But there was a lower eBay buy it now for 125. What I did notice with this promo card is that a lot of the copies are in fact damaged because of the way uh, Rudy shipped the card. He basically like sandwiched it in between two different like boxes. And like in theory, right, it would have been a good ship, but uh, a lot of the cards came damaged, shit uh damaged, bent and uh, with chips on them. And then the Rudy rubber playmat, we're gonna value at $45. So if you went out and bought exactly one kit from Rudy, that would have been $459. Now, what I calculated out right now was $505 in total value. So basically for a discount, you got a discount of $40. Now, if you did go out and buy the bulk deal from Rudy, you got four kits for 1,700 schmackers. Pretty nice. So each kit rounded off to be 429. So with that, you basically got $300 worth of a discount, which is pretty nice off of the numbers that I gave you. And uh, do I think this, uh, this sale was worth it? Yes, I think this sale was actually decent. It was a lot better than the previous Nightfall sale where he replaced the booster box with random single card packs. Um, yeah, and uh, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment. And if you made it this far, make sure you leave a goon in the comments as well. I need to know if you all made it this far. And uh, yeah, goodbye.